Hello everyone. Welcome to HBN Infotech Tutorials. In this tutorial, you will learn how to create reusable WMF clip art in Microsoft PowerPoint. Before that, subscribe my channel and hit the bell icon for notifications. This technique works with Microsoft PowerPoint versions ranging from 2007 to the latest. First, let us learn about WMF file format. A WMF or Windows Metafile format is a vector graphic file format developed by Microsoft. WMF files like other vector graphics formats supports transparency, scaling and modification of graphics without losing quality. This is especially useful in printing high quality images. You can learn more about WMF file format at wikipedia.org. Ok, now let us see how to create and save images into WMF file format. First, go to the insert tab, then click on shapes and use the shapes to create the desired clip art. You may also use the lines and freeform tool to create uh, the desired clip art. Now, for example, I'll just create a simple clip art. Ok, now the clip art is ready. Now what you need to do is, you will have to go to the file, then click on save as, then choose the location where you would like to save. Now this time I am saving this on the desktop. Now give the file name, uh, I'll just say part 1 now for the save as type select windows meta file or enhanced windows meta file both are supported in the microsoft office then click on the save button so if it prompts you to uh, choose whether all slides are just this one you may choose just this one because there is only one slide okay so once this is exported you can insert that into microsoft office ac applications such as microsoft word excel powerpoint etc so now you can just go to the picture and choose the file name and click on the insert button so you can see that it's inserted as a object. So let us try this in Microsoft Word. I'll just go to insert, picture, clip art, insert. The interesting thing about Windows Meta file is that it is editable, scalable, there is no loss of quality so now let us see how we can do that suppose uh, if you just enlarge the image you can see that there is no problem with the image so i'll just even zoom it and show you there is no issues with the quality now let us see how we can edit this to edit this, what you can do is you can just 
make a right click on this clip art and then click on edit picture so this brings in the edit mode where you can edit the clip art now let us try that once again I had already created a clip art uh, if you want to learn how to draw this from scratch there is a tutorial link in the description below if you observe closely you can see that this clip art is a group of objects so you can move this independently every one of them I mean this could be created uh, in Microsoft Word Excel or PowerPoint so I have used uh, the preform tool to create this okay now let us save this into WMF format so to do that you can go to the file click on save as then choose the location and then type a file name so I'll just uh, select the save as type as Windows meta file you can either choose Windows meta file or enhanced meta file both are sup uh, supported across Microsoft applications then you can just click on the save button so again uh, I can just click on this just this one so the file is saved now let us try importing that into Microsoft Word I'll just go to insert click on pictures and just select the file name and click on the insert button so now uh, for the first time it is inserted um, in line with the text so what you can do is you can just uh, bring in front of the text so this helps move the clip art freely and it comes out of the text layer so now to edit this what you can do is you can just make a right click on this and click on edit picture so this becomes editable so I hope you like this tutorial please subscribe my channel share this video with your friends don't forget to like this video thanks for watching